BBC reporter uh, Jim Courtemanche made this uh, video in 1973 for Radio Canada, the French CBC, and uh, he went on to uh, do reports about AIDS in Rwanda, and he was an avid separatist, and he, he's dead now. So he, in this polemic, he really does not like Curé Laval Boulevard in Laval, which he goes on a rant to denounce. Good old liberalism isn't dead. We need to announce and confirm. It's still going steady, as can be seen on Curé Laval. Merchants, submarine sandwich joints, Papa Burgers, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. So this is his the beginning to this video, which shows some luscious scenes of that strip back in the 70s. Power, wealth, and happiness of North America is due to the individual initiative. Richard Nixon said it. And individual initiative is Curé Labelle. That's where total liberty reigns, where no bureaucracy is slowing down the creative forces of co commerce. Pioneers, trucks, and free transmission of advertising information. I'm translating, by the way, that's why it's not perfect. You can see these lovely scenes here. That Tavern 777 is now, of course, the strip club, Les Dés. And I don't think there's quite as many... Uh, the Dairy Queen is still there. The gas stations... That is a funeral salon, which is still there, minus the big sign. Whoever made this video seems to think it's quite funny that there's a mini golf behind, but whatever, that's obviously gone, the maxi golf. So, uh, he goes on about how we celebrate mufflers, cigar, root beers, and plastic, and the car is an insatiable monarch to the city that has to feed, respect, and serve. That is still there, as we can see. It's now a different type of restaurant, uh, not a Kentucky Fried Chicken. 26 gas stations, one every 400 feet. I don't know if that's really true, as the video shows that there is not one every 400 feet. And even an auto beauty shop to satisfy man an extension of his carburetor, so he's launching off into very poetical, whimsical terminology here. If the carburetor man is exhausted from his endless, to endless trips from the bank to the mall to the finance company, from the finance company to the bank, you could rent a room for four dollars. So Gilles Courtemanche is really angry at the suburbs for whatever reason, obviously ignoring the logistics of the reasons why families choose to Elles live in these places. It's much easier to have a family up there, but that restaurant, the Chinese restaurant, is still there. It's under a and that strip mall, as we could see, is still there. Of course, all the businesses have changed. They're all gone. Very different now. Uh, suburbs are more humane, where families can enjoy life far from the monstrous city, he notes, ironically. Uh, and, of course, he says, Curie LaBelle has brothers everywhere in the suburbs. They say the city needs no town planning, reports Gendron Commission. Gendron Commission was a language law thing, precursor to Bill 101, which, of course, uh, men and French on all sides. So that's obviously a B in his bond in the fact that there's English signs there, even though he doesn't come right out and say it. The Recreatech that we see here, the building still exists but it's been abandoned for a few years. They say that they're going to make condos out of it, but that has stalled. I tried to phone the works uh, who uh, runs ProMint, and he didn't answer my call as to what's happening with that. The glorious signs of those years, the old cars are quite lovely, aren't they? So uh, this narrator continues his endless nonsense by saying, uh, people say they get money moving, create jobs, fight unemployment, raise the GDP, and that's how an economy works, we all know. So, of course, Courtemanche doesn't really give a realistic alternative to, uh, to this sort of thing, but it's lovely to see.